Hello everyone. So guys, now you can attend the live classes from all the top educators on Arn Academy by getting the Arn Academy Plus subscription. And to get the subscription, download the Arn Academy Learning app and click on the plus. Then follow the further steps. Also, you can get ten percent discount by using the referral code mentioned on the screen. And thank you very much. Now let's start the video. Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Eight Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, I am going to discuss the question which has been asked in the NET June 2019 exam. I hope that after watching this video, you will find it very easy because I am going to discuss this question with the help of the trick, or we can say the short trick method for solving such kind of question. We will discuss in this video. And guys, if you will even have any doubt related to the question which I am going to discuss here, or the concept, or the trick. So guys, you can comment below this video. I will try to clear your doubt. Along with this, if you will like this video, please like it, share it with your friends. You can also subscribe the channel if you are new on this channel to get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos on this channel. Once you will click on subscribe. After that, you will have the bell icon there. So click on that bell icon as well, so that you will get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos on this channel. Now let's start the video and let's talk about this thing that how can we solve such kind of question. So guys, this is a very easy method to solve this kind of question. So let's talk about it now. Here we are having this question which has been asked in the NET June 2019 exam. So guys, the question is integration from zero to pi d theta upon pi plus four cos theta. Uh, so this is just the integration for which we need to find the value. Like what will be the value or the answer we will get after solving this integration. And these are the options I have mentioned here. Okay, these were the four options given in the question paper and in this particular question. So let's talk about it. What are the steps you need to take and how can you solve this question very easily? So guys, here we are having this trick, or we can say a general formula we are having, which is going to help us to get the answer very, very easily and also in very less time. As we all know that time also matters a lot in the exam, so we should try to save over time. We should try to have some techniques with the help of which we will easily be able to get the answer. So guys, see here we are having the general formula or the short trick that is integration from zero to pi. d theta upon a plus b cos theta when a is greater than modulus of b. So in this case, what is going to happen? You can directly write the value of this complete integration. We need to focus on the limits of integration given in this question. That is from zero to pi. Okay. So these things, these little points, also uh, going to help us to find the correct answer. If we will focus on each and every point, it will be very easy for us to get the answer. Okay. Now, what is the final expression which we will get once we are going to solve such kind of questions? So, guys, as you can see, this is the same form as it has been given here in this question. That's why I'm going to tell you this form here, and the answer you will get that will be pi upon square root a square minus b square. Okay, a square minus b square. B is the term which is with cos theta, and a is like just uh, simply present here in this way here. Okay. So now this question, if you can see, it is like uh, similar to this one. So now next thing is, what will be the answer for this given question? That will be pi upon square root a square. What is a here? That is five. Five square minus four square because we can see five is greater than four, which is going to satisfy this condition. Okay, that's why we are going to apply it here, as well as limits are same as this formula. So guys, it will be square root five square minus four square and pi in the numerator. So I have put it like similarly here. Next thing is pi upon square root twenty five minus sixteen. So which will give us pi upon square root nine. That will be equal to pi upon three. Okay, and we can see option four is the correct option. And here since I am going to discuss the trick with you, so it is going to take some time. Otherwise, if you know about this trick, if you know about this formula. I think it will be just few seconds task for you to get the answer for such kind of questions. Okay, I hope that the points or the formula which I have discussed here will be clear to everyone. But still, if you will have any doubt at any point, so you can let me know about that. Like where, uh, like the things are not clear anywhere in this question or in any of the steps. So guys, I will try to clear your doubts. Also, uh, thank you very much for watching this video till the end. 
Similarly, we will discuss more questions in the upcoming videos which have been asked in this NET June 2019 exam. So guys, keep on watching the videos on this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel. If you are new on this channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos on this channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.